the Nickelodeon Nutcase here. Yes, the final episode of Sam and Cat has concluded. No, I'm not watching that Kids Choice Sports Awards because it's a little redundant. They already had a favorite athlete for the regular Kids Choice Awards, so I just don't see the point, but okay, that's that. So, uh, the last one, uh, pretty good, um, kind of a predictable ending. I wasn't sure if he was wearing the wig or not, but Sam, uh, or no, not Sam, Cat, getting arrested after beating up Tice, <laughs> you know, Sam, it's interesting how Cat evolved over time. It's being just, or at least perceived as this ditzy, not knowing anything character to, uh, she's smart in some ways, and good advice giving. So, you know, she evolved over time, even while she was on, uh, Victorious. Uh, there was that evolution going on, and, uh, you know, the Sam Nona thing, uh, kind of interesting. But, of course, not paying her half of the rent almost doesn't make sense, I mean... I don't know if there's actualities where they charge two people living in the same department separate rent bills, but obviously if it's not paid uh, in full, they're going to evict both unless one tenant throws the other out, but you know what I mean there. So, that was Sam and Cat. It's been nine and a half years since the uh, premiere of Zoe 101. It's been about uh, two and a half years. Is that about right? Yeah, since the uh, premiere of the Nickelodeon Nutcase. Uh, I want to thank all of you uh, for your loyal support. Uh, it is time to move on. There will still be reviews on this channel here and there. Thanks to Dan Schneider for... Uh, Nickelodeon loves a la lasting debt to him, and really, he gave me some livelihood with those uh, shows. So, for the last time, this is your Nick, 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 Nickelodeon Nutcase!